I'm a big defender of advertising, actually. I know not many people are. There's two good reasons to defend it. One is, well, it's more than two, actually, but one is quite straightforward. It provides a lot of free stuff for us, and people seem to forget about that. You know, your, your, your free copy of the Metro with the standard, that's there because of advertising. Using Facebook and Twitter for free, that's there because of advertising. Using most things on the internet are there. Your commercial television stations are there because of advertising. So they are annoying adverts, and I'm not a fan of watching mm. adverts particularly, and, you know, actually TV advertising is, is going down the drain because everyone can skip through them now, and it's a big problem. But I do appreciate the benefits that it brings me, just as a consumer of newspapers and and, um, uh, and, and TV programs. Yeah, you know? and and those programs will get worse, and the number of stations will decline if the government starts clamping down on other forms of advertising, having already dealt with tobacco, like so-called junk food, which is the, the next step. And gambling advertising is probably going to go as well. I think um, all of that takes money out, and I've got an interest in this as a I'm a big fan of snooker. And that tobacco advertising ban had a massive effect on the game of snooker. It, it nearly destroyed it. You know, there was uh, one time after that ban came in, there were about four tournaments in the entire world. There was no money in the game. No one was coming through. Um, the smoking ban then hit the grassroots, actually. And, yeah. and snooker clubs are just in, in, ter in terrible trouble, probably never really recover. You could almost um, say they were snookered. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I apologise. I apologise. That sound um, you can hear is me taking off my mic and walking <laughs> out. <laughs> um,